everyone. Today we will be simplifying factorial. This is the second part. Um, I will put the link of the video of the first part in the description box below. So factorial is represented as n and then the exclamation mark is factorial. In this part, we are going to put in variables. So in the first part, those were all integers. This time around, we're gonna have variables. So let's say, uh, let's have some examples here. So let's say, for example, the first one right here, I go ahead and say, what is n factorial? So how do we um, evaluate an n factorial? So we remember that factorial is defined as the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. So in this problem right here, whatever that n is, let's say n was 5. So we start with n. So the next number after that would be n minus one and then i'm gonna have n minus two and then n minus three and then i can go ahead and say um n minus um four and then i can go ahead and say factorial after that that means it can go n minus five and n minus six or whatever it is so um let's have um, um let's have an illustration to see how this works so let's say for example uh we let n equals let's say our n here is uh, 4 okay so let's check if this um, this notation is correct so if our n is 4 so I go ahead and say um, 4 factorial is that equal to n is 4 again so that's 4 times 4 minus uh, 1 is 3 and then we have 4 minus 2 is 2. And then 4 minus 3 is 1. And so we can stop over here. So the thing here is that it goes all the way to, uh, uh, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to continue. It depends on what our n here. But for now, since we only have 4, so we're just going to have to, so this one is a match, this two is a match, this two is a match, this two is a match. We're just going to stop here. So, but then again, if we have n is equal to uh, 10, so we go ahead and do the rest of them. So, but for now, we can go ahead and just stop right there. So, that's how we evaluate um, um, factorial. Now, let's have a second example here. So, let's say in our second example, we have n plus 3 factorial. So, how do we simplify n plus 3 factorial? So, the first... Um, the first term that we're going to have here is the n plus 3, whatever that n is. So I go ahead and write n plus 3. Now, it says that we go backwards. So n plus 3, then that means the next number here would be n plus 2. And then n plus 1. And then after that, n plus 0, or I can just go ahead and write n. And then after this would be n minus 1. And then n minus 2. And then we we just write factorial after that. That means it can go uh, farther and farther. n minus 3, n minus 4. So let's take, for example, here. Let's say our n is, so we let n is equal to 3. So let's see what's going to happen to this. So if n is 3, so... Um, by the way, we, we already have proven that these two are equal because 4 factorial is just 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So what are we testing right now is if we let this as 3, so this becomes 3 plus 3 is 3 factorial. So let's see if 3 factorial, no, 3 plus 3 is 6. So I go ahead and write 6 factorial. Is that equal to this if I plug in n equals 3? So I'm not sure about that yet. So I'm going to... Uh, put in um, 3 to this. So 3 plus 3 is 6 times 3 plus 2 is 5. And then 3 plus 1 is uh, 4. And then it says 3. So just the n. So that would be 3. And then n minus 1 is 3 minus 1 is 2. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. So then it matches up to 6 factorial. So that means this equation is correct.
So they are a match. So this is the expanded version of this factorial right here. And we have illustrated it with six factorial. Now let's have another example here. So for number, let's say number three right here. Let's have um, n minus two factorial. So n minus two factorial. So what is this equal to? So again, we start with n minus two. And then after this n minus two, then we go backwards one more. So n minus, uh, that's n minus three, then n minus four, then n minus uh, five, and then n minus six, and then we just go ahead and write factorial after that. So let's have an illustration today. So let's say our n, so let n is equal to, let's say five. So five minus two is three. So five minus two is three. So let's see if they're equal. So three factorial, is that equal to, um, that's five minus two is three and then times five minus three is two, and then five minus four is one. So are they equal, three factorial, is that equal to that? Yes, so this is the expanded version of this factorial. So again, in this example, this is the expanded version of this factorial. So if you have this factorial, that's the expanded version right there. Um, this is another expanded version of this factorial. It's right there. And this is the expanded version of this uh, factorial right here. Okay, now let's move on to the fourth example. So let's say, for example, this problem right here. Number four, so let's uh, uh, evaluate this or simplify it. n plus three factorial over n factorial. So how do we simplify this? So first thing that we have to do is to write the factorial for this. So it's gonna go, uh, it's gonna go, uh, it's gonna go uh, down, so it's gonna decrease. So it's gonna be n plus three, and then that is n plus two, it's gonna go down n plus 1, n plus 0 is just n, and then after that I can go ahead and write n factorial. So that means you can have n minus 1, n minus 2, but I don't have to write it because it's already n, n factorial over here. So I go ahead and write n factorial here. So this means that this 2 gets crossed out. So then the expanded version of this n plus 3 factorial over n factorial is actually n plus 3 times n plus 2 times n plus 1. Okay, now, so this is the, um, these two equations are equal to each other. Now let's have the fifth example here. So let's say, for example, I have here n plus 4 factorial over n minus 1 factorial. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so let's go over this problem here. So we have n plus 4 factorial. We go, uh, we go, uh, we decrease it. So that would be n plus 4, we start with n plus 4, then n plus 3, n plus 2, then n plus um, 1, and then we have an n, and then we have to uh, we have to continue doing it because we want it to get to n minus 1. So n minus 1, and then we can go ahead and say factorial after that, so that means it can go n minus 2, n minus 3, and so on. And then this is divided by n minus 1, and that's a factorial. So from here, we can cross this out, and then so then we can conclude that n plus 4 factorial over n minus 1 factorial is actually n plus 4 times n plus 3 times n plus 2 
times n plus 1 times n. So these two equations, when you plug in values to n, it should work. If you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!